Hello girls, it's Wednesday. So today we're talking about chocolate. So I'm like, okay, so these are something my mom sent me in a care package like a couple months ago. And I literally have developed like an emotional relationship with them in which I like talk to them in a sweet caressing voice. Sometimes I gently unwrap them. I, you know, take them to bed with me. Make sweet, sweet, tasty love. Um, that was inappropriate. Did we ever decide what like the PG leveling of these videos are gonna be like? If I just like start swearing, do you think? Do you think the viewer base will get angry? Um, so there are these. I'm not gonna eat one for you. I promise there's like, there's granola and then there's chocolate on top of it. They're actually pretty good for you. Um, they're like, I wanna say, they're like 80 calories for one of these. They taste like joy in your mouth. It's like someone is throwing a hopping dance party on top of your tongue. Um, not like one of those weird like techno ones either, like not like dubstep, but like good music, like 90s, 90s music, or like wizard rock, if that's your thing, come as you go. I'm not going to eat it for you because I am dieting, but just imagine the delicious look on my face. Um, also, I definitely agree with both Madeline and Shauna in the fact that, um, they're just calling Madeline? That was weird. Madeline and Shauna, um, continuing on, that, uh, this is probably going to be over time. I'm sorry. I'm, I have a really bad headache, and so I'm, like, getting over it, so I'm a little bit loopy, um, with the fact that we, the, it, it works this way in perfume, too, and in most, most things made for America, that society understands, as a whole, that Americans do not have good taste in things. So we get a lower rate product like our perfume is shit compared to real perfume the same way that our chocolate is shit compared to real chocolate um, I just know about Cadbury because My dad is obsessed with Cadbury like legitimately it's the fruit and nut bars are like his favorite thing in the world Like I'm pretty sure he'd trade me in for a fruit and nut bar Maybe two maybe it would take two because I'm like the baby But he'd definitely trade my sister in for one maybe half of one um, But it's oh Cadbury is delicious you European countries have much better chocolate than we do. Oh god, now I want chocolate. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, woo, what was I going to talk about? Um, this is awkward. Well, we were supposed to talk about chocolate. Um, my friends always make fun of me because we were, um, there were cupcakes last night, and I've been like, I've been dieting pretty, pretty, pretty well, um, but there are cupcakes, and we never have cupcakes in the submarine. I don't even like cupcakes, but the fact that they're never there made me want them. So everyone was eating cupcakes, and someone went into the survey with me, and there were, like, a bunch of us, um, there, and they were like, Sarah, are you gonna get a chocolate or a vanilla cupcake? And of course, like, I'm a big vanilla fan girl, um, in flavorings, um, this is where it got awkward. It's just kind of a running joke in my college that I have jungle fever, which for those of you who don't know what that is, um, cause I didn't know until I got to college, it's just that I like, I like black guys. Um, and I don't really, like, I don't have anything against them. I like guys in general, like you guys know me. I just, I like the men that make me happy. Um, but so I, um, everyone was making fun of me cause they were like, Sarah, do you really want to put something vanilla in your mouth? Like we know how you feel about the chocolate wonder. And I'm like, ah. Oh. It's just, well, I'm glad I made this PG-13 show. Um, I love you all. Um, that is all. Oh, also, I'm wearing my The Hectic Glow bracelet because it came in my audiobook and I'm so excited. Honestly, like, I am, like, intermittently, like, bawling my eyes out and laughing. And sometimes doing the two things at the same time. Like, I'm literally laughing while I'm crying during this audiobook. I um, I can't wait to get the book book because I'm going to the tour in Houston um, on Friday. I can't wait to get the book book, but I really like the feel of the audiobook because I can just kind of walk around like outside and just like listen to it like it told in my mind and I can like close my eyes and visualize what's happening. Um, and I just, I'm really enjoying the experience. Um, and I, ah, uh, it's just so beautiful. Um, also, I really want an Augustus Waters. Like, I don't know what the freak Hazel is doing. I, uh, sleep with the boy. Um, that was okay. Goodbye. I love you. Um, I love all of you. And Fiona, I will see you tomorrow.